So guys, uh, if you're wondering all of a sudden why we move from what is performance testing or what is performance testing to architecture? Well, so for a performance tester, it is very, very important for you to understand uh, the architecture of your application or what is architecture? Actually, what is an architecture? You want to understand the architecture of the application. So obviously you need to know what is architecture. So it is extremely important uh, for you to understand uh, what is architecture. So it's like uh, without knowing the traffic rules, uh, you're going and driving on the roads when it's very dangerous. So similarly, without understanding the architecture, if you're going and doing the performance testing, it is very, very dangerous for the project. I mean, you don't accomplish what you uh, want to uh, without uh, understanding the architecture and still doing the performance testing. Having said this, uh, in my experience, I, I see a lot of people, you know, who doesn't know much about the architecture of the application, they know minimum about it, and they go ahead and, you know, start doing the scripting using those performance testing tools and then trying to uh, do the stuff. So, but it's not, not at all advisable. So, if you're wondering, uh, okay, architecture is good, architecture is something that you need to understand, but why we are understanding architecture at this point of time? So, for them, uh, what I would do is, I'll ask a question, okay, um, I'll give you a situation, uh, it's pretty big, it will take uh, maybe a couple of minutes to give you that situation, and by the end of the situation, I will ask you a question, okay, and uh, the answer of that question will give, will answer you as to why we are discussing architecture at this point of time. So let's assume, okay, uh, there is this guy who is running a business, uh, let's assume a, a burger store, okay, he is selling the burgers and during the peak times, okay, peak times means when there are a lot of people coming to his store or arriving to his store okay so usually the peak time for a burger store may be from 7 p.m to probably 9 p.m or maybe during the lunch timings probably from 12 uh, to maybe 2 p.m okay so I, I, i'm just letting you in general you know those are the peak times so during the peak times so let's assume uh, a customer walks in and then he orders a burger and it is taking 30 minutes okay half an hour to get the burger okay so in other words the store or the owner is taking half an hour to deliver the burger after it is being ordered during the peak times so uh, obviously the customers will not be happy for that and uh, uh, the owner of the burger store would want to fix that. So let's assume he's not smart enough or he's not well educated. So he called upon you. He, th he thinks, you know, you guys are educated and he calls upon you and he says, okay, I have this problem, so please fix it. Now, what would you do uh, to fix the problem? Okay, and by the way, uh, don't brush away this example or the question. This question uh, is being is being uh, asked as an interview question by one of the very senior technical guy in our company. So whoever answers this question, they are into the project or higher. And uh, whoever or not, you know, there are more questions. So this is pretty important question. It has nothing to do with performance testing. It's a little bit logical. That's it. So as a I mean, I don't want to wait here. So um, as a listener, you pause your video, think about it, what you would do in these circumstances, and then go ahead and play the video. So what is the answer for this question? So if I were asked by, the, by that burger uh, store owner to fix the problem, what would I do? First, what I would do is I'll get into the kitchen. I'll get into the other side of the store, um, get into the kitchen to understand where exactly the problem is and why it is taking half an hour. It could be many reasons. It could be uh, lack of people in there, okay, to serve those many people, uh, those many customers, 
or there is lack of equipment inside the kitchen okay so there are only few tables or there is not enough equipment or there are enough equipment but they are not properly arranged so that um, the, the chef has to move from one place to other place and he spend a lot of time walking uh, or uh, there is not enough ingredients or let's say there is not enough uh, 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 ingredients to make the burger so every time he has to go buy it from somewhere or it is put in the cold storage every time he has to go get from the cold storage or maybe he requires a software so that somebody can order it from the outside and the order can directly get in go into the kitchen and uh, those guys can start making it so there could be hundreds of reasons uh, why uh, it is taking so much time so for you to fix it first you need to get into the kitchen you have to watch what's happening during the peak time and then or uh, any time, not only peak time, any time, you know, peak time is taking half an hour uh, in the normal times it might take 20 minutes. So whatever the time may be. So you need to get into the kitchen, you need to clearly watch out what's going on and then you need to f or, uh, figure out uh, what exactly uh, uh, the issue is and then you have to fix that issue. Then the problem is solved. So similarly, why we have taken this example? So similarly, like there is a website like Gmail and you have given an order like you say click on compose button. Okay, you want to compose an email, you have clicked on it. So the request went through. There the order went through. Here the request went through. And let's say it's taking half an hour for you to, for the system to process your request. Okay, so by the time that nice compost page comes up, it takes half now. So as an end customer or uh, of that website, you're terribly uh, pissed off or terribly unsatisfied. So if you need to figure out why it is taking half an hour, you cannot do it from the front end. You cannot do it from the front end where there is a Gmail or sitting in front of your computer. You need to get into, uh, or get behind the scenes. There you got into the kitchen, you here you have to get into the system. When I said getting into the system, what I meant was you need to understand the architecture, you need to know what's going on over there uh, as to why it is taking half an hour to process your request. And then once you figure out what is the problem, there is every chance that you can fix that problem and you can streamline that system so that it doesn't take half an hour anymore. It takes one or two seconds. So this is the precise reason why we need to understand the architecture of your application. So if you need to understand the architecture of your application, first you need to understand what is architecture. So by the way guys, here the problem, that issue, because of which it is taking 30 minutes, okay? Or in other words, because of which the application is becoming slow. That issue, that problem, there is a special word for that in performance testing. The word is bottlenecks. So in other words, because of this bottlenecks, the performance of the application is going slow or it is taking a lot of requests for the servers to respond to your request. Or because of this bottlenecks, the application is becoming slow. Well, if you're doing manual testing, these issues, these problems, there's a word for that, it's called bugs. If you're doing security testing, these issues, these, these, these problems, there's a word for that, they call it as vulnerabilities. Similarly, in performance testing, this issue, this problem, there's a special word for that, we call that as bottlenecks. So when you get into the interviews, okay, start using these words like peak times, bottlenecks, and all those. And also there is one of these favorite interview question is, did you find any bottlenecks in your system? Okay, that's one of the very important questions. So as we go forward in one of those videos, I will cover that, okay? So I hope I have established this concept as to why we need to understand the architecture. So in my next video, we will start understanding what is architecture. Thank you guys.